Hi again, everybody. Today, we'd like to do the minor components of posture for all partner dancing. We're applying it to swing right now. Uh, now, if you remember, just uh, going over the major uh, components of balance and posture, I should say posture for balance, for perfect balance so that you have freedom in your dancing. So first of all, all we do is, if you remember, we bend our knees. Okay. Now, we don't just go down. We just don't dance down here. A lot of the hula dancers do that. You ever notice? Okay. But because they're down, they get a lot of really nice movement. Now, we don't want that much. We go down a little bit. But also, when we do that, we also push our knees forward. See that? So that actually pushes our seat over the balls of our feet, and now we're in a positive position. So it's not only go down, it's also go forward. See, right. if I kept pushing it, you would come, if you kept pushing your, it would actually make you fall forward. So that's a positive position. So you go down a little bit, and you push forward a little bit, because all couple dances, well, most of them, should say, is into the ground. They're very ground, especially the swing dances. They're very grounded, and that's how we go. It's not ballet. We're not up here making these nice lines. We're trying to create a rhythm in our body, so it's down here, ba 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 da so you can create some kind of rhythm. OK, so that's your one major. Second major, you get your break in your pelvic area. OK, that creates a rhythm triangle right here. Puts you a little bit forward, rhythm. But then also, it puts your chest plate, which is your center, slightly forward, and you keep that between your knees. So you should feel, when you're dancing, number one, your sternum going right down between your knees into the floor stays there. OK, then you got your rhythm happening back here. So you have a small triangle for your rhythm right here, and you have a big triangle connecting your, um, your center, your sternum, or your axis, all the way down between your knees, so you have that big one. So you have a small one and a big triangle right there. Okay, And that keeps your nice and balanced all the time. So no matter what you do, you stay there, boom. Then the third major component is if you turn. That's it. If you turn, then all you have to do is twist the shoulders to make yourself turn. Now the important part here is that you don't lose this center. So when you start turning, da, 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 see, that stays there. Now most people will dip a shoulder, lean back, stand up, do all kinds of weird things. You have to stay here and da, 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 and twist, and that makes your rhythm go around. So remember, you're, you're generating a rhythm down here. Shoulders tell where to go. Forward, back, side, side, turn, turn. That's all you can do. Six, uh, six leads and six follows. And that's how you do it. You just rotate, and your shoulders tell your rhythm where to go. OK? So those are your majors. Now, your minor components, once we get those, we also, and these are mostly for relaxation, so that your body can move. That is, boom, we take our shoulders and put them forward a little bit. We, we squeeze our pecs a little bit in and out. Now, practice, here's your practice exercise. Put your elbows back. That opens your pec and your chest is all uh, puffed up. You've you got a banana back. You uh, look funny. And you're <laughs> very off balance. And you're stiff. OK, now, bring your elbows forward. Squeeze your pecs. Open your pecs. Squeeze your pecs. Open your pecs. Squeeze your pecs and stay. That's it. So we just squeeze the pecs enough to relax us and put our arms in front. Now, this is real handy. If you come into closed position, I just squeeze my pecs, duh, and I'm dancing with her. She's dancing with me. We just create a space for each other because we squeeze our pecs. Now, what a lot of people try and do is they try and do this uh, peacock position, this banana back thing, and then there's actually no place for your partner to go. Okay, And don't get it mixed up with uh, watching it on TV, like dancing with the stars and stuff like that. That's for competition. That's more of a performance. Okay, So you will see the positions like that, because they're trying to be real big so they can entertain the audience, be seen, and especially if they're competing, be seen by the judges. Because the common phrase when we were competing was, you have to be seen to be marked to come back for the next, uh, next round. So if you're real small, they didn't see you, so you make yourself real big. Okay, and that's what you do mostly in uh, for competition. Uh, socially out dancing, club dance, very different. It's very different than what you do for competition dancing. Okay, so there we go. So we just squeeze those, and it relaxes your shoulders and allows this top part to move easily. Okay, next we take it right in here, and we do in our core, and we crunch just a little bit. That's it. Okay, now that helps to connect your top to your bottom. That little crunch there. OK, down. And it also straightens your back. Now remember, most of us I'll walk around, we have a sway in our back. Okay, So what we do is, as soon as we crunch a little bit, 
It also tucks our seat under, and that's the, the, the next component. We tuck our seat under a little bit, and it makes our back very straight, and also makes our front very straight. So now we're angled forward, but our back is very straight because we pushed our stomach back a little bit. Now, with that back a little crunched, now it can dance, it can move. If it's open like this, it just stays very stiff. You can always tell the stiff dancers. They're standing way up like that. You see their feet moving, but this is all rigid. So as soon as you um, push in your rhythm button, that is the bottom of the sternum, push it in, see that? That closes your pecs, closes your top to your bottom, but also it closes your right side to your left side. So this rhythm button is very important. When you push that in, boom. It turns your body into a rhythm machine rather than a marching machine. Okay, remember, that's military posture. Snap straight, throw your shoulders back. Okay, that's very rigid. Okay, very stiff. We want to have some rhythm, so we push that back, loosens us up. Now, not too much. Okay, we don't want banana back and we don't want hunchback. Okay, if you do too much, now you're gonna be dancing like that, and now you're off balance, and you look kind of funny too. <laughs> exactly. So, we just do it enough to keep our our back straight, and then we can create a nice rhythm inside our body, not just down here, but it starts going up into our uh, rib cage and our shoulders and everything, so you create a nice, uh, a nice rhythm there. So remember that, no banana back, no hunch back, okay, just a little bit, so we have a nice straight uh, uh, rhythm posture, okay? So that, I think we covered everything, yeah, that tucks your seat under a little bit, and that's it. Then you just stay in that position, you rotate to do your turns, keep your rhythm, do your rotations, and you feel a lot in your dancing, and you feel your other person's, that's the um, enjoyment of dancing. We feel a nice rhythm in ourselves, created by this posture to the music. Then we also feel the partner's rhythm. Okay, oh, these are nice rhythms. And then they start synchronizing. So now you have these nice rhythms going, and you're dancing as one unit. And that's what uh, you need to create the magic for uh, swing dancing or couple dancing. Again, uh, play with that. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.